what's going on you guys it's your boy Artie, executive director of film is art and today we are proud to present you with our first nfl draft film session of the 2024 nfl draft cycle and we bring you none other than Jaden daniels the heisman trophy winning quarterback from the university of lsu start off with a little bit of tape from arizona state as i briefly go over you know some of his career achievements and um his career highlights i started off obviously at arizona state played there in 2019 2020 and 2021 2020 season was obviously very short because of covid only played four games um but throughout each season he made um some really 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 big improvements in areas of his game specifically from 2020 to 2021 um really improved his completion percentage i believe it went up from 57 to like 63 so it's a pretty big jump uh for a uh, college perspective wise so yeah um Jaden daniels start with obviously the athleticism right at 6'4 about 215 you know he looks like a guy who is on the slender side but when you see him move um it's clear to see that he's a top tier athlete at the quarterback position um in this class specifically uh i believe he's the best athlete at the quarterback position and it's not even close um something else that really stands out with Jaden daniels as you'll see here is he throws pretty much one of the best deep balls in this class. I think only Michael Penix for um, challenges him on that. It's clear to see. He's really, really good at that deep ball. Really good touch. Puts it up just high enough for his guys to high point it and everything like that. So, really, really good deep ball thrower. And obviously... um something that Jaden needs to work on is his accuracy it's specifically like intermediate um in short accuracy as I said he can hit that deep ball with no problem but when it comes to you know those throws in the middle of the field specifically as I'll show you guys later he kind of struggles with those but yeah you know Jaden Daniels, obviously the athleticism, you know, this, this guy, as you'll see later on in the film session, he's got a cutback lane vision ability that is, is on par with the running back. I mean, the way he can just decipher through blocks, you see the little bit there, there's on the state, um, just simply outstanding. You see on this play right here, he's going to roll to the left. See nobody's open. Just decided to take it himself, and you see, you see the acceleration. You'll see it from the cartel angle. Um, you'll see the acceleration. That is something that is very, very rare. I'm a quarterback. It's Lamar Jackson, Jackson esque. I'm not gonna say he's Lamar Jackson. I wouldn't, you know, do anything outlandish like that. But you see the pep in his step, and you see the um, agility there. All right. Getting to the meat and potatoes here. This is obviously versus Alabama in 2022. And this starts the portion of the session where we talk about his throwing ability outside the numbers. Going to see the balls on time. Um, comes out as soon as that back foot hits. As soon as neighbors uh, breaks at the top of his right against Kool-Aid McKinstry. The ball's out and it's to him. Really, really good strong throw. Puts it in front of him. So that way it protects him from, you know, Kool-Aid cutting underneath or trying to make a PBU attempt. Um, another one, good job here. You see the corner was playing inside leverage. So Thomas, the wide receiver, used that against him. Stopped a little bit shorter. Easy throw. But still a good throw um, for outside the numbers. There again, you got neighbors coming from the slot. He's going to run a little corner route. Another outside the numbers throw. Good yak by neighbors as well. His film session will be out very, very soon following this one. Another thing I like about uh, Jaden Daniels is he's got really clean mechanics. You know, his releases, you know, it's pure. It's not all over the place. His mechanics aren't wonky. You know, he gets the ball in, gets the ball out. Very, very clean motion. 
good throw here in tight coverage against Brian Branch to Kashan Boutte. See the way he fits that ball in there. That Jaheim Alt is coming with pressure as well. A little bit in his face there. All right. Now let's let's transition here. This is obviously versus Alabama 2023. We're going to get into the athleticism portion of the film session where we just get to see Jaden Daniels just run all over multiple SEC defenses. Um, When it comes to athleticism, I've been, if you have been uh, following the channel now for over over a year now almost. Um, I am very, very big on quarterbacks being able to at least get me seven in the first down. You know, if it's third and six, can you get me seven in the first? Right. Well, not only can Jaden Daniels, as you'll see here, as he just reverses field and just follows the little lane that the line accidentally took, um assembled and gets a first down. Jaden Daniels, he can get you to seven, but he's, he can also hit his head on the goalpost. And that's the difference between, you know, a, you know, solid quarterback athlete and a, a great one, elite one at that. Um, you know, those guys that can turn those first downs into splash plays. You know what I'm saying? Like here, you see, the, if this was Patrick Mahomes, he would have slid. I'll show you exactly where Patrick Mahomes would have slid at probably. Going through all the reads, I think there. Skips out the backside. He would have slid right there. But Dayton Daniels doesn't slide. Why? He doesn't need to. Because of his elite speed and honestly his ability to um, read his blocks as well. Good seal there by Thomas as... Jaden Daniels cuts up field more. But um, yeah, Jaden Daniels, when it comes to, you know, making plays in the open field with his arm, with his legs, I'm sorry. Um, he, he, he's the best in the class at that as well. Um, you know, Drake May, um, he's pretty good at it as well, but Drake May isn't the athlete that um Jaden Daniels is. Jaden Daniels is faster. Jaden Daniels is more agile. You know, Jane Daniels can make more people miss, you know, in space than uh, Drake May. So, just just really awesome. Um, in my humble opinion, you know, his running ability combined with his passing ability is what really led to him having a Heisman Trophy season because teams just couldn't game plan correctly for that second element. I mean, look at this here. This is just off, you know, a medium level concept you know medium level as far as death concept down the field passing and nothing's there and you know he just takes off and it just really stretches your defense because your edge rushers are trying to get home you know and then you're you're asking your corners and your and your safeties to try to tackle this guy in the secondary when he's running full speed you know it's just it's just not fair <laughs> it's just not fair um but yeah, man, let's get into some of the teams um, that are currently um, high up in the draft order. And if the season obviously it hasn't completed yet, that I think Jaden Dance would fit. The number one fit that I believe and fit you're going to hear from major media pundits is the Atlanta Falcons. And I could not agree more. I think the quarterback that Arthur Smith wants is a guy who is mobile enough to be a threat in the run game but also has the deep ball accuracy to hit the big plays down the field. And I think that Jaden Daniels is both of those. Do I think Jaden Daniels might have a bit of a learning curve come NFL time? I do. But Jaden Daniels right now is better than anything you get from Desmond Ritter for the next two years. So if you're the Atlanta Falcons, you absolutely should target this young man um, with your draft pick or potentially even trade up for him because, I mean... You drafted B. John Robinson. You drafted Drake London. You drafted Cal Pitts. So, at some point, you have to complete, you know, the offensive overhaul and get your potential franchise quarterback. Speaking of franchise quarterback, um, the New England Patriots. 
have not had a franchise quarterback since Tom Brady left to go to Tampa Bay. I know, I know they picked Mac Jones, but um, Mac Jones isn't a franchise guy, and he probably never will be. So, I think Jaden Daniels is a very, very good fit in New England. I think with his running ability, you know, one, the RPO game with Stevenson would be insane. But the other reason why I'm kind of questioning this fit a little bit and why it's second and not first is because, you know, the Patriots are notorious for investing in tight end, not in wide receiver. And Jaden Daniels, in my opinion, would need you know, those playmakers on the outside like he was allowed to have. And, you know, Malik Neighbors and Kashan Boutte and Thomas and um, Lacey. And even at Arizona State, he played a year with Brandon Ayuk. So, you know, he's always had a pretty good receiver on the field at all times um, during his collegiate career. And I think that would need to continue um, in the NFL level. And the last fit I'll give might be a little bit of a surprise. But um, it's the New York Giants. I think if the New York Giants were able to move on from Daniel Jones, and not only move on, but um, you know, obviously, you know, you know, obviously get, I guess, Saquon Barkley back in the mold. He's having a pretty good season, so I guess he's earned a, a contract. I don't know how much I would pay him, but I think if you get Jaden Daniels with um Brian Dable, I think you could have some. Some real success. Now, back to the tape. Getting into some of his weaknesses, which obviously headlined by the inaccuracy in spots. The certain spots on the field where Jane Downs gets to and the ball just sails high, sails wide, sails short. Um, He's okay at throwing on the run. This isn't, you know, a, a consistent theme. Um, but this was this was a bad miss. Here, obviously, Neighbors is a big play. Neighbors doesn't really do his job, but the ball is so far inside, it doesn't matter. I would like for him to put that ball a little more to the outside there. One, so you protect your receiver, and two, so that Malachi Moore doesn't have a chance to undercut it. Again, here, you have the back slipping out. The ball is just completely behind him. You you have to throw that ball better. That's our, sorry, that's, that's, not, that's, not, that's not acceptable. The ball has to be out um, closer to his chest or even close to the sideline. Again here, a little slot fade concept, red area forces his receiver to turn all the way around. Um, yeah, that's the miss there. Again here, she got number two, Lacey coming underneath. Now this one, I should have outlined as throws under pressure because, you know, when you throw under pressure, um, you know, sometimes you can be affected um, but just a little note here, when you did get pressure on him, you know, the throws were, you know, affected by it. As you saw, he missed high there, his neighbors. Now, let's get into some pocket manipulation to pass. Um, this is basically, you know, um, buying time, basically, you know, finding receivers open, you know, scrambling and all that. He's pretty good at that, um, obviously because of his running ability because defenses are going to try to you know keep him as a passer and if you keep him as a passer you know he has an ability to you know make those plays be a playmaker and you know pick up first downs for his team I really like this here um you're gonna see neighbors working his way at the bottom of the screen they was gonna keep working for his quarterback as daniels extends gets down and Catch the ball. I love his eyes here. His eyes. He's, he's looking downfield. He's he's a passer. He's remaining a passer. And, you know, he's looking to, you know, get the ball completed to his receiver. Really, really good job there by Jaden. Gonna see here. He's moving to his left. Good throw on the run here to Boutte. I like how he turned his hips when he made that throw. You know, most quarterbacks, when they... Throwing to the left, you know, they try to strong arm it. You know, they, they try to, you know, just get the ball um, out before they turn the hips. He turns the hips first, so he makes it easy on himself so he can split the difference on the throw. Let's get into some touch and tight window throws. Probably the most important throw to be able to make at the NFL level because in college, you know, the fields are wider. 
So when you get to the league and, you know, the uh, yard lines are shorter and closer apart, hashes are closer together, uh, you know, there's more tight coverage. And obviously, you know, these are professionals, so they're going to play better coverage. You're going to play against better defenses. So really, really good throw here to uh, Mason Taylor. Love this throw here. Kind of a kind of a fitter ball, seam ball that a lacy. Like how we threw it with some zip and some and some uh, poise in the pocket as well. Just held it in there. Um, in the NFL, we probably would have had pressure on his face right there, um, right before he threw the ball. So really good job there. Let's get into my favorite part about Jaden Daniels: his um deep ball ability, his layer ability. As I said, he's got pretty much one of the best deep balls in this class, without question. With without question, um, love the touch here on the throw to neighbors. Uh, neighbors is the only one that's catching it. There's no chance of Eli Rex getting a hand on that, and that's what you love. This one here is a beauty. Um, throws the ball to neighbors there, lets him, lets him, um, lets him run underneath it, and I mean, this is a dot. If David doesn't catch this, this this ball's not caught. I mean, he's throwing these passes to where only his guys are going to catch it. Now, obviously, Neighbors breaks open here to bust in the coverage, but just showing off the arm strength and ability to get the ball out there. Threw this ball from about the 44 and landed at the 10. So he's got a pretty, pretty decent size arm. Watch 11 there. Thomas in the slot. Going to throw it to the boundary. Really, really good job there because he notices that Tom swings immediately. So he immediately gets into his drop and lets that thing go and puts it in a really, really good safe place. Tom's at the bottom of the screen here. Like the way Daniels this time throws it away from him. So he has a chance to get yak. There are certain times when you're throwing the deep ball where you have to throw it to a spot and then you throw it throw it away throw it up and away so the guy has a chance to come down with the touchdown speaking of come down with the touchdown I love this throw here he clearly beats him but he throws this ball so far and away that it was no chance that that safety was going to get there to make a play on the football no chance at all simply outstanding as you guys see here uh Jane Daniels' evaluation. It's not complete yet. Um, I'll probably have that done um, after the Senior Bowl and, you know, after he runs his 40 and everything. So, and his comp is Robert Griffin the third. And um, here are his stats from his college career. Um, you see pretty dead even as far as passing yards. Um, you see the jump in completion percentage, the jump in yards per attempt, and the jump in rising touchdown productions. See you guys again soon.